the Grim Reaper's here. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Alderman. It's so nice to finally meet you in person. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's my pleasure. How are you doing today? Oh, you know, waiting to die. <laughs> well, let's see if we can help you with that. Would you mind if I come in? Of course, of course. Please, have a seat. Thank you. I've prepared some tea for you. Oh, you didn't have to do that. It's not often I get guests anymore. <laughs> a lovely lady like yourself? I find that pretty hard to believe. Please, Mr. Ryland, don't patronize me. Of course. Thank you. Also, I made some lemon squares. Ooh! All I have is Earl Grey. I hope that's all right. Oh, that's lovely, Mrs. Alderman. Uh, if I may ask, how did you get these in this shape? Hmm? The lemon squares. How'd you get them to be so square? Well, I bake them in a square pan, and then I cut them into smaller squares afterwards. Hmm. How clever. They're very pretty. <clears throat> Traditionally, they're eaten. Why? Uh, well... So, Mrs. Helen Alderman, age 196? That's right. Almost the big two undie, huh? Well, let's hope not. <laughs> right. So, Mrs. Alderman, first things first, why do you want to die? Oh, well... I suppose I just feel I've done everything that's worth doing. Such as? Oh, uh, hiking, fishing, driving, swimming, marrying, parenting, drugs, roller derby-ing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you tried art appreciation? Yes, when I was in my 20s. Gotcha, gotcha, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, in case you aren't aware, Mrs. Alderman, the Mortality Appraisal Committee's second most important criteria is uh, its loved ones. You know, mm -hmm. someone who might miss you if you up and die. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pets? N no. Uh, any relatives? No. <sighs> okay. The MAC's first most important criteria is productivity. Obviously, we can't have useful folks dropping like flies whenever they want it. I mean, us death auditors even have a saying, uh, if you're still supplying, you ain't dying. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, I understand. Uh, so, uh, with that in mind, what is your job? A piano teacher. Oh, and that isn't rewarding? It used to be, but not anymore. You can only experience the joy of developing a young child's musical talent so many times before it becomes a bit dull. Are you considered a, uh, a good teacher? I wouldn't know. Mrs. Alderman, an important thing about this job is being able to sniff out the liars. I mean, you would be surprised the things people lie about when they want you to let them die. Oh? So I'm gonna be honest with you. I've already checked on a few of these things myself. Oh. And it appears to me you're quite the exemplary teacher. Oh, no, I assure you, I am quite awful. Mrs. Alderman, if this is going to work, I'm going to need you to be honest with me. Of course. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryland. Oh, it's all right. Arts aren't very high on our list of priorities, so I don't think it's going to affect your application all that much. Oh. Well, now that we're being honest, let's circle back to living relatives. You do, in fact, have a daughter, don't you, Mrs. Alderman? Yes. Louise. Apparently it's Laura now. She was actually a bit hard to track down since so she legally changed her name. But, luckily for the application, I had a chat with your daughter, and it turns out she really hates your guts. <laughs> yes, I thought so. I mean, you must have done a number on her. She couldn't care less what happens to you. Oh, good. <laughs> so living relatives, yes. Loved ones, no. Well, that's such a relief. Now this next section's on your quality of life. Uh, would you mind if I rode shotgun with you today? You know, just to experience your daily routine. Of course not. 
I'd appreciate the company. Wonderful. Pegney, be nice to Lacey. I take this for my blood sugar. I take this one for my arthritis. This is for the nausea that my arthritis medication gives me. So you have names for all of them? Oh, yes! And you can tell them apart? Mm -hmm. huh. Which sometimes causes constipation. I don't know if you need to know that or not. No, that's useful. Thank you. Mrs. Alderman. I think I've seen enough. One last thing, though. If your request is approved, uh, how would you like to die? Oh, I've thought about this a lot. I'll bet. I would like to die in my sleep while dreaming I'm myself when young again, meeting up with a lover I knew long ago. Like Titanic? Yes, exactly. I hope I'm not asking too much. No, not at all. It's actually quite common. At the MAC, we call it the camera. It's what you might think of as your basic bitch death. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, but who am I to judge how someone else was to kick their own bucket, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, goodbye, Mrs. Alderman. It's been a pleasure. I'll call you if we have any news. Thank you. Mrs. Alderman, it's Harold Ryland from the MAC. Oh, hello, Mr. Ryland. I just wanted to personally call you and let you know that your application is... Approved. Oh, that's so lovely to hear, Mr. Ryland. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been my pleasure, Mrs. Alderman. Now make sure you do me a favor and get yourself a good last meal before you go to sleep tonight, okay? Oh, I will, Mr. Ryland. Oh. All right, you have a lovely death. Oh, goodbye, goodbye forever. Bye.